YouTube, You're watching Survival for the Poor. Um, today, I'm going to do a little review of these fire starters that we got sent to us. Uh, you've probably seen the video already where we tested them all out, so now I'm going to give my, uh, my opinion on all of them. Um, the first one I want to talk about, which is the one that burned the, the longest, was the fire egg. Um, I mean, what it looks like, it's an egg carton, obviously with wax in it and I think just a cotton ball and uh, what you do is you just light the egg carton and it just turns into a blazing inferno that lasts a really decent amount of time um, I think this one went for like seven minutes or something uh, we didn't really time it but this one went for a long time um, the only downside to this one is that it's uh, rather large compared to all the other ones so um, if you had this in your bug out bag or something you could only have a couple of them because, I mean, compared to the uh, fire disc, this one's um, really bulky. And, I mean, this would be cool for, like, home, home use. You could have a bucket filled with these, and you could just use them whenever you have a bonfire. Uh, you know, or if you have a cabin or something, you could use them when you start the wood-burning stove. And it'll just light right up um, every time. You know, you won't have to worry about shoving newspapers in there or... If you're having a bonfire trying to get a cardboard beer box to set on fire with a lighter, that's always fun. So this works every time, obviously, and it burns for a really long time. And it was able to ignite damp wood. So um, overall, this was the um, longest burning one, but oops, the only downside is that it's kind of big. So you can't have too many of them with you. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, the next one is the fire cube. Now this one, it was hard to light. Uh, we were just trying to light around the outside of it with a lighter. Um, apparently you're supposed to break it apart into pieces and light it because there is uh, like little wood chips in it. And uh, I'm not sure what else. I mean, this is kind of like dark. So I don't know if there's other stuff in there. You have to check out Keith Bud's page. He's the one who made all these, by the way. Um, he's featured on my channel. Uh, to the right side along with uh, the guy who wrote my theme song Richard so just check out Keith Bud's page if you're interested in making any of these this one once we got it going um, it went pretty good this one stayed lit for a while um, and it's a lot smaller than that fire egg so um, the fire cubes definitely pretty good um, more compact you could carry a lot more of them with you if you wanted to so nothing really bad to say about that one. Obviously, if we broke it apart, we would have been able to get it to light a little easier. Um, this one, we named it the Hot Salami because it really didn't have a name. Uh, what it looks like to me is a fire disc wrapped around a couple matches. Looks like there's two matches on each end. Um, so you could light the match with a lighter and just toss it in there. Or you can strike the match. Um on the matchbox and get it to light because correct me if I'm wrong Keith but I don't think these were strike anywhere matches so that would have made this one um, a lot better if you strike anywhere matches that way you won't have to have a matchbook with you if you carry these you can just strike it on a rock and throw it in the fire um, no these aren't strike anywhere he did coat the tips of them in wax so they will stay waterproof I just broke it all off this end but um, that's one plus to it. The wax heads are dipped in, the match heads are dipped in wax, so the the matches will stay dry, and you will be able to get them to light. But um, it would have just been better, in my opinion, if strike anywhere matches were used, which would be a very easy fix for this. Um, if you're going to make one of these yourself, you could easily get some strike anywhere matches and make this. So this one um, was basically just a fire disc wrapped around some matches so it gives the fire disc a, a new um, it's a new take on a fire disc basically why is a mailman pulling in my driveway the heck does the mailman want <laughs> So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this hot salami. Pretty effective, um, very compact, and uh, you could probably fit a lot of these in your bag and carry them with you. Um, this one was my favorite one. Um, it's the fire disc. It's 
very simple design. It's just a cotton pad dipped in wax. Um, I'm sure any of these would have taken a spark, but I tested a spark on these and it lit right up instantly. Um, and it burned for a really long time, surprisingly, because this thing is so small. It's like the size of a pepperoni and about the same weight as a pepperoni. So you can really, really fit a lot of these in your bag. What is this mailman doing? Get lost, man. You can fit a lot of these in your bag. Um, how many do I got right here? I got five here. I gave one to fish, one to scummy, and we tested one. So these are really cool. I'm gonna keep these in my bag. Thanks, Keith. Um, these are great. And the other cool thing about this is you could break it up into pieces or you could um, definitely cut it up with a knife or scissors and each little piece will start a fire for you. Um, so these are by far my favorite ones just because of their compact size and um, they're easy to carry around. You know, this is small, but it's I'm, I'm just messing around with it in the video, just showing it off and it's all the wax is falling off and stuff. So you'd have to be more careful with these. Like see, I got more wax coming off right here. Just just by messing around with it for the video. So if it's in your bug out bag, bouncing around and stuff, it's gonna get kind of uh, beat up. So these are really sturdy. Um, you could just throw a whole bunch of them in your bag. If you have like a side pocket on your bag, you could fill the whole thing with these and you could have a ton of fires with them. They will take a spark and they do burn for a long time. And they're very easy to make. Um, I was just looking in the closet and my wife has um, cotton squares, they're not, they're not the round ones, so I would have fire, instead of fire discs, I would have fire squares, but it's just a little piece of square cotton. And we also got this candle with not much left in it, um, country market scented. So I could easily melt this down and uh, dip some squares in there and make my own. So I might do that in the next video, I'm not sure. Um, but for now, you can check out Keith Bud's page on how to make all these, because they are really cool. So if you if you got nothing better to do, you can make your own fire starters. Um, and there's two more that I tested out. Uh, he only sent me one of each, so I don't have any reference to show you. But one was the tampon torch. Um, that one lit up right away. It was really easy to light. Um, it had the string on it, which acted almost as a wick. And that thing just erupted into flames. Uh, so that one worked really well for starting a fire, but it wasn't very compact. It was like this You can check out the video. It was this smashed out tampon that was it wasn't heavy or anything It was just a weird shape. So if you carried a, a lot of those with you It would be taking up a lot of room just because of the weird shape of it um, and then The other one that I don't have on me is the tampon torch 2.0 which looked to me to just be a tampon with uh, some matches stuck in it. I think there was like two matches on each side or something, I don't remember. But it was basically this, except instead of a cotton pad, it was a tampon. So that one worked really well also, and it was a little more compact than the Tampon Torch 1.0. Um, same effect, you know, and it had the matches for some, uh, like a little bonus, you know. I mean, even if you're not going to strike a match on the box, you could still light it with a lighter and it will flare up and get this thing going nice and quick. So that's always a plus to have the matches shoved in there. Um, but yeah, all in all, Fire Egg burned the longest, definitely, by far. But it is the biggest, so that's probably why I burned the longest. And these were my favorite, Fire Discs. So I'll probably be making some of these for myself. And um, I'm going to actually test some of these up against fire paste and see how well they perform against fire paste because everybody knows I'm a firm believer in fire paste. What are you doing Keith sending me all this junk? I just want fire paste. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm going to try to make some of these and we will see how well it does against fire paste in a future video um, because the cool thing about fire paste is um, it will ignite soaking wet wood on fire, like wood that sat in a bucket all night filled with water. The fire paste burns so hot, it will light that wood on fire. It will just dry it out instantly and light it on fire. Um, these, I don't know, maybe they can, maybe they can't. So we'll check it out and we'll see which performs best. And it's survival for the poor, so it's always good to have cheap homemade stuff. So thanks for watching the video. Make sure you check out Keith's video if you want to learn how to make any of these. And uh, hit like and hit subscribe. Survive for the poor. poor, poor. <laughs>